All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, NASA Chief Just Leaked. James Webb's shocking discovery in space. Guys, the title seems like something interesting is about to happen, and I'm thoroughly invested in actually finding out what it is. Uh, it doesn't really say much, but I'm sure we'll retitle this for the upload. Um, but either way, let's go and check it out. Scientists have already uncovered startling discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope that has left them in a state of disbelief. Imagine a far more mysterious place that has long captured the curiosity of both scientists and the general public. A world that was formerly regarded as a planet but was later demoted, sparking significant discussion and controversy. Let's go. Now that the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space for nearly a year, we can finally get a better look at this mysterious celestial object. I mean, I definitely don't think that it is a planet. I'm sorry. Um, like looking at it and kind of reading enough about Pluto, they, they were right for kind of declassing it as that. It, it shouldn't have been a planet in the first place. I mean, it's large. It's absolutely gigantic, but I don't think that's a planet. I, just, I mean, most a moon, a tiny one, if you would call it something other than a gigantic rock. What mysteries does the JWST harbor? Why is this new discovery so shocking? And how will this affect you? Let's find out. We just have potential Even though the James Webb Space Telescope was one of the most expensive and challenging to construct space observatories, it has already produced groundbreaking findings and conclusions since its launch. Its major goal is to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets in order to look for evidence of extraterrestrial life. The JWST will also concentrate on celestial objects that are nearer to Earth, such as Mars, asteroids, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects, among others. Yet the possibility of finally investigating uh, the Horsehead Nebula in Pluto in great detail with this groundbreaking telescope is what thrills scientists the most. The strange reddish-colored planet named for the Roman deity of the underworld may have a number of craters, canyons, plains, and chasms named after evil deities and demons from various cultures. Among those mentioned are Eric, the underworld god of Mongolian mythology, Supe, the Inca <laughs> lord of the underworld, and Amit, the Egyptian... Yeah, listen, I know a couple of Erics. I don't think they're evil, but... Uh, love to find out that uh, apparently some culture decided to name someone super evil in their history. Eric, and Eric now, for some reason, there means uh, they're evil. Egyptian goddess who ate the souls of the That's sinful. Pretty Many fictitious creatures have right. also been proposed, including Morgoth from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Cimmerillion and the Balrog from the author's Lord of the Rings. Although none of the names have been formally chosen, they were proposed as part of a plan sent to the International Astronomical Union by SETI Institute researchers as part of a public outreach initiative dubbed Our Pluto. The names have the power to convert Pluto's seemingly foreign scenery into a place where the worst fears and nightmares of mankind have come to life. Mephistopheles, the demonic figure from German folklore who begs for Faust's soul in Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, is one of the names that have been suggested. Even though Pluto no longer qualifies as a planet, right. scientists continue to be fascinated by it. At the it's moment, the James Webb Space Telescope no is all the rage because of its ability to take pictures of far-off objects. The telescope can definitely be utilized to explore Pluto, as many people have been inquiring. The James Webb Space Telescope is on the case because Pluto is up to something sinister. Uncertain of the cause, scientists have detected that Pluto's atmosphere is vanishing. The atmosphere of the dwarf planet, which is mainly composed of nitrogen, resembles that of Earth. Pluto's atmosphere, however, is supported by the vapor pressure of the ice that covers its surface, unlike Earth. Hence, if the ice on Pluto warms up, it has the potential to drastically alter the atmosphere's density. Scientists have been tracking Pluto's motion away from the Sun for the past 25 years. Pluto's atmosphere is now beginning to refreeze onto its surface as a result of the surface temperature falling over this period. Pluto is extraordinarily far from the Sun, and as time goes on, it will only continue to get farther away and colder, 
Thus, the temperature dip isn't anticipated to reverse anytime soon. Now that the JWST is on the case, and researchers are looking at Pluto through its tenuous atmosphere with telescopes in the US and Mexico, in an effort to solve the puzzle of what's going on on this far-off planet. Imagine that you are at the beach on a hot day. High midday and the sun is directly overhead, heating the sand very quickly. Okay. The sand becomes hotter as the day goes on, reaching its peak in the late afternoon. Pluto's surface has been accumulating heat from its previous closer-to-the-sun orbit as a result of a process known as thermal inertia. Because of this, Pluto's atmosphere has not completely vanished, but as it becomes colder and the thermal inertia weakens, more and more of it is beginning to freeze back onto its surface and disappear. But how did scientists come to this conclusion? It's by using a technique known as occultation. This has nothing to do with witchcraft or the paranormal, rather, it is simply what occurs when one cosmic object moves in front of another, blocking out the other. Since the late 1980s, researchers have been studying Pluto using this method. They were able to determine Pluto's atmosphere, density, and that its nitrogen ice reservoirs were kept warm by heat stored under the surface by seeing Pluto as it passed in front of a star. The research indicates that this thermal reservoir is beginning to deplete as Pluto becomes colder and its surface cools. Pluto's volcanoes are also icy cold, so it's not just the planet's air that is chilly. A team of planetary scientists discovered features on Pluto that were unique to the solar system after studying images taken by New Horizons. These structures were probably produced by cryovolcanoes also known as ice volcanoes, which may reach heights of four and a half miles. Scientists were shocked to discover mountains, valleys, plains and glaciers in the first images of Pluto taken by the New Horizons spacecraft in 2015, showing that the planet is a geologically active one. Similar to Earth, these landforms were shaped. Okay, guys, so I've definitely never heard of any type of ice volcano. What happens when this ice volcano erupts. I mean, obviously inside of the, the core of Pluto, it's probably not ice, right? Um, but all I can... Hmm. Ice volcanoes are super interesting. They've always intrigued me. Um, I definitely did not know they could count. They could like um, occur at least on other planets unless they had water. Because I think for the most part, when we encounter um, like ice volcanoes on Earth, right, they generally happen like super close to bodies of water. Generally, waves are are there, right, and um, freezing cold air with oceans. The, the ocean water basically goes underneath this ice shelf that was just created and that out of nowhere spews it through the uh, the opening in some random thing that was created by nature, right? <laughs> and it looks like it's basically shooting out, well, it is shooting out water, but it's so cold that it's freezing instantly and creating what looks like an ice volcano, right? Um, but I just don't know uh, how one could occur on a planet that doesn't have water, right? Um, so all I can think of is that there's obviously some type of maybe magma, like in the core of the planet of Pluto. Yeah, it's like negative 300 to 400 degrees uh, on Pluto, sure. But I don't think, I guess I should research more probably why exactly, or, or what is the cooling temperature of magma? Like what is the temperature that it actually will freeze at? Because if, the magma is shooting out of the volcano like a regular volcano here on Earth, and it's freezing instantly as it hits the air. Well, then obviously now we have a ice cryo volcano, right? Um, but yeah, guys, if you know more, please correct me, guys. Let's go. Which include ice volcano eruptions. According to NASA, the geologically young topography that the team of scientists investigated suggests that Pluto's inner structure may have recently held heat allowing for the deposition of materials rich in water ice on the surface. The substance that was ejected from the ice volcanoes 
would have needed to have the consistency of toothpaste in order for the structures to be constructed by the seeping toothpaste-like fluid. Okay. A geological wonderland exists on Pluto. There are many completely distinct regions on Pluto. You wouldn't know what the other regions look like if you only had a few parts of the puzzle of Pluto. Have you ever called someone cold-hearted? Well, guess what? Pluto, although being extremely cold, has a heart. The New Horizon probe found this heart-shaped region during a flyby of Pluto. It is even larger than the human heart and has a surface area of a million miles. It is composed of nitrogen glaciers. Pluto's actions are likewise determined by its heart, as the left ventricle, known as Sputnik Planitia, drove the planet to turn such that Charon, its moon, was facing the opposite direction. The phenomenon where a planetary body shifts its spin axis as a result of significant geologic processes is known as a real polar wonder. The ventricle's current location, a cold trap gathering nitrogen ice to form a two and a half mile thick ice sheet, is what's causing Pluto's surface to split and the enormous cracks in its crust. The basin is believed to have developed closer to Pluto's North Pole and to the northwest of where it is now. Pluto is still not free since it will keep reorienting itself if ice builds up on the basin. Who knew a cold heart right? could be so fascinating? Data from New Horizons is giving scientists information on Pluto's more recent characteristics in addition to aiding the study of its older landscapes. Around Pluto's equator, the spacecraft had previously discovered enormous methane deposits, some of which were as tall as skyscrapers on Earth. The finding of these features underscores the complexity, dynamic nature and diversity of planetary surfaces like Pluto's and deepens our understanding of the processes that shape Pluto and other ice planets in our solar system. Pluto is a dwarf planet, but how did it get its name? The solution That's might tiny. surprise you. Now, scientists think it might and have not had a fiery beginning. Okay. Astronomers had long believed that radioactive decay had a role in the planet's primordial subterranean sea's slow formation over millions of years. Recent discoveries, however, have called that notion into question. Scientists combed over photographs of Pluto taken by the New Horizon probe to look for hints regarding the planet's formation. They discovered that the presence of mountains and valleys on Pluto's surface could shed light on the planet's formation. The scientists examined these peculiar surface traits and then used computer simulations to explore several planet formation scenarios. Scientists found that Pluto would have contracted and left visible evidence of compression fractures if it had started off cold and then internally melted. The fact that the team only saw extensional characteristics, however, led them to hypothesize that Pluto may have had a brief, violent beginning that gave way to an early ocean. However, how did Pluto produce the heat needed for such an ignition? The researchers evaluated two scenarios. Either the proto-dwarf planet was warmed by energy from nuclear decay, or it was hit by surrounding debris and melted. The latter possibility they found was more probable. These results imply that Pluto's creation must have happened quickly. But in the big scope of things, that quick process might have taken up to 30,000 years, which would have been a minor blip in the universe's lifespan. Scientists are once more interested in Pluto, the tiny planet that has long been cloaked in mystery. They've made several surprising discoveries, one of which is that Pluto has flowing glaciers just like Earth and Mars. Several nitrogen ice glaciers flow into the basin from mountains with pits carving down valleys as they approach Sputnik Planitia from the east. These glaciers are the consequence of nitrogen ice sublimating from ice to vapor, moving across Pluto, and then refreezing on the surface throughout seasonal and mega-seasonal cycles. Yet they differ from the glaciers made of water ice that exist on Earth. Since liquid nitrogen is less dense than solid nitrogen, any melt that occurs inside them will rise rather than fall. Moreover, the liquid nitrogen may release geysers or jets of water as it reaches the top. It's also important to note that water ice, which has a somewhat lower density than nitrogen ice, 
makes up a portion of Pluto's surface. Some of those water ice rocks will rise up through the glacier as Pluto's glaciers cut through its surface, floating there like icebergs. I've never heard any of these uh, things, guys. Um, once Pluto was basically no longer a planet, I kind of stopped my overall love of Pluto, right? All the other planets love them, sure. Why not, right? Well, I wouldn't you know, be on any of them personally, but um, the fact that water ice is somewhat pleasant uh, present uh, on on Pluto is definitely intriguing to me because maybe, just maybe, I don't know where that water is coming from. I don't know how it could exist here. Uh, maybe it's water again in like some type of different form. I don't think that there's hydrogen and oxygen uh, on <laughs> on on Pluto, guys. But all right, let's get it. Is it conceivable for any kind of life to exist on Pluto? Unfortunately, Pluto's harsh surface conditions make it impossible for life of any kind to exist. There is simply no chance for life to live under these conditions when the temperatures are so low that not Human only life, water, guys. but... Like, life that is based off of our planet and not survive. Um, could there be life that has come up on... On, on like a different planet potentially maybe silicon based too maybe something different also other Could gases exist. and liquids like methane nitrogen gas and carbon monoxide freeze solid the likelihood of life existing on pluto's surface is further diminished by the fact that its air pressure is significantly lower than that of earth yet researchers think Hey, send a couple of tardigrades there let's see there's a probability that pluto's interior harbors life According to scientific predictions, Pluto's environment could alter in the future to support the development of life. Yet this might be disastrous for Earth. The outer solar system will someday become a part of the Sun's habitable zone, even if Pluto is currently outside of it, since the Sun will continue to grow and release more energy for millions of years. The Sun will grow during the course of a half-billion-year expansion consuming the inner planets, including Earth. The Kuiper Belt objects, including Pluto, will experience considerable warming during this period, but it's doubtful that life will develop on Pluto without assistance given their composition. It sounds like we need to spend more time, right, focusing on building something, maybe, maybe stop arguing with each other over nonsense, country to country, right, and just figuring out a way to make it so we can live somewhere else as a species. If we have a, for the most part, uh, we know that Earth is going to be consumed by the sun, uh, we should probably be looking to be somewhere else. Guys. And then the constrained time window. It's possible that humans will need to ship plants and other living things from Earth to Pluto and other surviving bodies. Yet these cosmic occurrences are still billions of years away, so don't worry. The James Webb Space Telescope's investigation right, of Pluto worry. is expected. Don't worry, their whole bloodline will be erased in a couple of you know a couple billion years. Don't worry, there'll be no there'll be no thought of you because you're gone, right? Don't worry, bro. Why are you gonna say something it's like that? To shed further light on this far-off dwarf planet's peculiar characteristics. It is true, but still. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space. All right. All right, so we learned a couple of new things about Pluto. Um, still a place I personally would never want to go, oh. right? Um, I had no idea that ice volcanoes existed there, but I'm sure, again, they're extremely different from what we known of ice volcanoes at least here on earth right um that's intriguing so no complaints guys we learned something new um all right listen let me know in the comments on the next subject we should be checking out and i will get into that as soon as i possibly can all right well listen you guys all have an absolutely amazing day enjoy it thoroughly